Alright, so this is going to be the docking tutorial for the Hull C here. So I just called uh, Everest Harbor and they just gave me clearance to dock. As you can see off my port side there, we have a white circle. That is our docking, uh, our docking collar. That's where we're headed. And so I'm going to try to show you how this uh, docking port system works, this um, docking instrument. You know, I was a commercial airline pilot. I'm, you know, instrument rated. This does not make any sense to me. It's not a good system. I really wish uh, CIG would take some notes from real life and use those to kind of help develop some of their systems here. This is not all that intuitive, so I'll show you how this docking collar works. So as you can see there, we have that docking collar. What I'm going to do here is I need to get a line for it. And so we actually want to be facing toward the space station for that docking collar. This other one we want to be facing away. So uh, we have an expression with things like flying and operating heavy machinery is slow is fast. And what I mean by that is taking your time and getting it done the, r the uh, right way the first time is often faster than rushing. So. I know a lot of people want to rush this, but it's going to be quicker if you just slow down and take your time. So as you can see, we're now aligned properly, and we're going to start heading in toward that white circle. So I'm just going to put my yaw bar, the cross piece there, on the white, and I'll show you how this docking um, indicator works. It is not great. Uh, there was one for Kerbal that was fantastic. This one is not so great. All right, so we're going to stop. All right, if you notice that little green ball there, as I roll, it becomes red. We want to roll that red ball into the blue circle. That is our roll. That aligns our roll. Next here, if I yaw, you'll notice we have a red circle just came out of the center. We want to put that in the center, and it will turn green. So that is our yaw bar. There you go. All right, and bingo. Now if I pitch, you'll notice we get another red ball that is now out of alignment. So that is our pitch. So we want the two green balls in the center, and we want our roll one. Perfect. I'm going to start coming forward. And you'll notice I have a red square. All right. We're going to put that red square on the yaw, yaw, the yaw bar. All right. And we're going to gently, very gently go forward. Okay. As we get it lined up with the yaw bar, you'll see we get those four greens. I'm just going to gently tap us forward. All right. Good. Uh, this is very touchy here. So green, green, green. We'll start going in. Now at this point, what I would recommend is it is very touchy. It doesn't want to work right. Get close like this. That's fine. You're now aligned. You could try it. I've done it once where I got it aligned fine and it, 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 it docked me. The best thing to do now until they get up, come up with a better system is hold Alt N and let it auto dock. You know, I like to do manual flying myself. Like I said, I was a commercial airline pilot. I really enjoy flying. This system is not great for that. The, air, the vehicle's a little bit touchy. Until they come up with a better system or a more refined system, let it dock. It is very hit or miss, and you don't want to damage your ship.